Good morning, I'm Dr. Tim Joshin, and today I'm doing a segment on the best of both worlds. And what this means is it's the integration of medical dermatology and cosmetic dermatology and how they blend together. So today we're talking about hyperpigmentation. And hyperpigmentation occurs when our pigment producing cells actually produce too much pigment. Now some of the, some of the actual um, skin conditions that we have that demonstrate this would be first of all, age spots. Uh, they used to be called liver spots. We as dermatologists call them solar lentigos. These are just sun freckles and what happens is if you're exposed to the sun for years and years and years, your pigment cells get worn out and they produce either too much pigment, which means brown spots, or too little pigment, which means light spots. Next, we have melasma, and this is a condition that frequently happens in women, more common in women than men, and it's associated with things such as sun exposure, hormones, um, and also heat. So a lot of women start to experience this when they have their first baby because of the hormonal surge. Also, if you're on birth control, but we also do see it, um, it worsen with uh, sun exposure. Finally, I have just sun freckles called uh, lentigines, and these are just, in young people, you'll see them, they're called sun freckles as well. Now, the most important things that we have, and we have a bunch of things here, um, in terms of helping treat hyperpigmentation, the number one thing I would say is that we wanna protect our skin from the sun. And you can pick a sunscreen that's most effective for you. Dermatologists typically are gonna recommend an SPF of 35 or higher. Now, when you use sunscreen, you wanna put it on in the morning, particularly if you're gonna be out outside. If you're gonna be out for extended period of time, you might want to use a higher SPF SPF 50 or higher. And remember, if you're gonna be out, wear a hat, seek shade, and also reapply your sunscreen every hour and a half to two hours. Next thing that I think is really amazing for helping with, with pigmentation issues is Renova Retin-A Tratinoa. So it comes in different varieties and I gave different names, but I love Renova because Renova is very gentle. And the number one complaint with retinoids for people is that they um, experience some redness and some scaling and some stinging and they think they're getting a rash from the, <clears throat> the product. The reality is your skin is just toning up and so if you use this over time your skin will build up a tolerance. Renova is special in that it is FDA approved for wrinkles but it also helps to even out pigmentation. The other thing that's special about this product when it comes to treating pigmentation is the fact that it exfoliates the superficial layer of the skin called the stratum corneum and what that does is it allows your other products that actually help to fight pigmentation issues penetrate deeper into your skin. So no regimen with um, a treatment for pigmentation is complete without this product. Next, what we have is my absolute favorite. I live for this product. We're one of the top sellers of this product in the nation. I think I was number five last year, or we, I should say we, because everybody contributes. But this is Obashi. And what this is, is it's a product line that if you buy the entire kit, actually has a 40% better chance of improving your pigmentation than if you buy onesies, twosies out of the box, or if you go to Mexico and get it, or if you get it at the pharmacy. So what we have is it's a really nice system because the people do get irritated with the tretinoin, and some people say they have irritation with the um, hydroquinones, the three and the number five. However, I'm not really convinced that that happens because it's such a gentle, um, vehicle and that's one thing I love about this kit. The products are developed in a formulation that are very elegant which means they go on like lotions instead of like um, a medical product. The other thing I like about these is typically when you have hydroquinone they can oxidize. What that means is you have that you buy this really nice product it's a whitish color and then over time it turns brown and unless you buy this product line it ha can happen very quickly and it's actually deactivated and it doesn't work anyway. So it also comes and it's a very, very, very simple to use product. I'm a guy and so I'm not really great with using products, but with this one, it's laid out very, very clearly and I've used this product myself for 20 years and I still use it and I still love it. So you've got a gentle cleanser because you want a cleanser that's not gonna irritate your skin when you're using a product like, like uh, Retin-A or Renova, it's gonna irritate your skin. You have a toner and I knew nothing about toners um, when I was younger, but now I know that it evens out your pigmentation and it allows your your products to penetrate a little bit better and be more effective. We have the number three, and as I said, these are very easy to use products. If you look very closely, we'll see if people can do this or I'll lean forward. So it has AM and PM on it. So each product has exactly when you're gonna use it on the bottle. <clears throat> so you use this one. This is a bleach hydroquinone 4%. It's a prescription grade product. And I really highly encourage those of you who are thinking about buying this online, 
um, I would be very cautious if you're getting a really, really good price on these because I've talked to my rep about that and you know, people are selling the products online for less than I can purchase them and I'm one of the biggest sellers of this product. So for that to be occurring, my rep and I really can't figure it out, but we're, we think that they must be counterfeit or actually stolen products. So be very, very cautious when you buy those products at a really discounted price. Next we have number four, and this is a moisturizer because again, as I said, you can get redness and irritation from this. And so this one is really nice because you can get it with an exfoliating agent or without an exfoliating agent. And so the one with an exfoliating agent will again, allow the products to penetrate a little bit deeper. We have number five, which is a 4% hydroquinone and it's a nighttime product. So the idea here is that it penetrates a little bit deeper because it has some exfoliating agents in it. Hydrate is something new that they've added to the, to the system and um, uh, my staff loves this product because it's a great moisturizer, but it doesn't cause acne. They also say it's really great if you're using Accutane, which can also dry out your skin because again, it is a retinoid just like um, Renova, but instead of taking it topically, you use it orally. And of course we have the Obagi sunscreen. So this is a very complete system and I do love this system and I recommend it to basically everybody. Now, Let's move on here. I have so much to say and I'm running out of breath. Okay, so another thing that actually has scientifically been proven to help with hyperpigmentation is alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids. This is a product from Skin Medica and I do love this product also. Um, so sometimes I'll substitute the cleanser here for this one. What I love about it is it has these little beads in it and it exfoliates your skin, but it's gentle, feels great on your skin, but you're actually using a medical treatment when you cleanse your skin. Love it. Then we have a leave-on product called Ahabaha Cream. And so this is one you can leave on your day, uh, and leave on during the day. What I love about this product is as you get older, skin gets ashy and gray and kind of lifeless. This actually gives a dewy glow to your skin. And so it's actually a very, very effective way to help improve pigmentation. Now, Lytera, for those afraid of hydroquinone, which science doesn't really back up fears on hydroquinone, but um, there, Lytera does have this new product. It's called Get Even. It's 2.0. People, people really adore or love this product. And the reason they like it so much is that it doesn't have any um, retinoids in it at all. And the only the reason that people don't like the retinoids is, is let's say you're pregnant and you can't use it. So this gives our pregnant moms an alternative to use even when they're breastfeeding or while um, during pregnancy. And some people, you know, some of my estheticians like to take a little break from hydroquinone um, because they, they just like to. I don't, I've used hydroquinone myself for 20 or 30 years now and never taken a break, but this is a great product. And then finally, when we talk about body, here's another one of those alpha hydroxy products. But what I love about this is people are always complaining about the brown spots on their, their arms and legs. And this is a treatment that you can do for your body and it's pretty easy to use and it's not very expensive. So we have lots of treatment options. Now, <clears throat> We could continue this segmentation or segment segment by um, uh, talking about the other things that we have in our office to help improve pigmentation. And these would include aesthetic services or medical services like chemical peels. And we also have a variety of lasers that help improve the pigmentation. One of my favorite is going to be the intense pulse lice, uh, not intense yeah. pulse lice, but the intense pulse light device. It's also called a photofacial, or what did you call it, Bill? IPL. IPL, okay, the IPL. So this is a great device, and what we love about this one is not only does it help with reds and uh, browns, but it also helps with reds. The other thing is there is little to no downtime in this device, so it's a terrific device. We also have the Fraxel laser, which is an erbium type laser. This again has very little downtime. It was actually approved for treatment of melasma. However, what we found is the typical situation with melasma, a third of the cases get better, a third of the cases stay the same, and a third get worse. So we have to be very careful when we use devices for melasma, but for brown spots, discoloration, it's terrific. Then we also have the CO2 laser, which not only will help get rid of brown spots, but it'll also help tighten your skin. And we have the fractionated technology. This is nothing new, but I always like to mention it because some people are not aware of this. Fractionated technology means that we're poking holes. And if we poke holes instead of destroying the entire skin surface, what happens is you have normal cells left in place to aid in the healing process. This means that there is a faster healing time and there's less risk of scarring or discoloration. And by discoloration, I mean loss of pigmentation. 
for those of you, you with really light skin, that's something you have to worry about more. And finally, I want to talk about, because we do have other devices, but I just want to mention the last one, and that is the Pico Way. And my rep likes to call it the Pico Way Better. And the reason I like to call that is really, to me, this is the best device out there for pigmentation and tattoos. It's a picosecond technology, so what it does is instead of causing a thermal effect on pigmentation, it causes an acoustic effect where what happens is it shatters the pigment into little pieces so it's resorbed by the body. So this is a great device, it's very expensive, and so very, very few people are able to have this in the practice, but we're lucky enough to have this in our practice. So I encourage you, those who suffer from pigmentation issues, to come and see us at ContourDerm.com for an appointment. Thank you.